Welcome everybody, back to another episode of Quick Stop Photoshop. Today's video I'm going to talk about stitching an exposure bracketed panorama. That way we can capture a very large scene with a large dynamic range. So for today's video, our example photo is this one right here, taken uh, at Kirchefell in Iceland with this nice river and kind of cascading waterfall wrapping around to the mountain in the background. So you can see this is a very wide shot. In order to capture this, we need to take a panorama because a single shot is not going to do it. You could take a horizontal shot and get the uh, far left to far right, but I wanted to get a little more of what was going on in my feet, this water here, and get a little bit of that sky. So a good technique to do this is to take a series of vertical images scanning from left to right or right to left, doesn't really matter which direction you wanna take, and that way we can capture everything together when we stitch it later. So this scene had a bit of a high dynamic range since the sun just set over here. So with that said, we want to exposure bracket a scene like this where we can capture the highlights in one exposure and the shadows in another exposure. And you'll see that I did this as I panned across the image or across the scene. Two exposures for each was enough to get the dynamic range in this scene. Five different frames. So that makes for a total of 10 shots that we're going to stitch together in this big image file. So now there's a few ways we can do this in Lightroom. Luckily, both Lightroom and Photoshop are pretty powerful at stitching images together. So one way we can do this is take all of our highlight exposures and stitch those into a panorama. Then take all of our shadow exposures and stitch those into a panorama. And then we can exposure blend the two either in Lightroom using the HDR feature or later in Photoshop, we can blend in the nice exposed sky which is generally the way that I do it. But we're gonna do the quick method here since this is quick stop Photoshop. So recently, I think it was a couple updates ago, Lightroom included or came out with a new feature where you can do HDR panorama merge. So we can take all 10 photos. So let's highlight all 10 of them and we can right click and then you'll see photo merge here, HDR panorama. It's gonna take those 10 images, stitch them together as you can see here. We can mess around with the different projection styles. This will give you a different stitching algorithm and results in a different final product. So spherical works best for this. I kind of experimented before the video. But let's see what cylindrical looks like. So you'll see here, cylindrical's got a kind of a weird skew. It pulls that foreground a little bit too much for my taste. And then finally, we have perspective. I found that the perspective projection blend works best when you take your images horizontally kind of panning upwards. So in this case, you'll see that it's unable to merge the photos all together. It kind of struggles when you take vertical images scanning across. Spherical, in my experience, works the best. Now you'll see here we're losing a bit of foreground and maybe a bit of sky. If I don't do auto crop, you'll see what the image looks like. So it definitely distorts the edges or the edge of the image to stitch everything together. But we can do this boundary warp where if we drag this along, you'll see that it kind of corrects that distortion and then we recover more of our image. So if we do 100%, the auto crop really doesn't crop anything and we kind of get the entire scene. And it looks really good in my opinion. You do see here, we do have a little bit of sloping on the horizon. This kind of does happen with spherical uh, projections, but this is easy to correct in Photoshop. We can open up the transform tool and then the warp tool and then we can kind of pull these edges back up. I don't think we have time in the video, in this video to do that, but we will definitely cover that in another video. So we're gonna hit merge. And now this adds the photo merge to our tasks. You'll see the progress up here in the top left. So wasn't that a super easy way to stitch 10 photos together to make this grand panorama with high dynamic range so we can recover our highlights, you see, because we have all that information now, because this is an HDR merge and then we can kind of expose our shadows. So we have this huge dynamic range now to work with. All right guys, that'll do it for today's quick stop Photoshop. Thanks for checking in. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please hit subscribe. If you're feeling generous, hit the like button as well. I will see you guys next time.